So first we need to open a blank file. I'm going to name this uh, image in text because once this file is made and um, the layers are all um, established and created, you can actually save this file and then just replace the picture and the words and, um, and use it for another project. Um, so I'm going to make this um, 9 by 4 and um, 300 pixels, RGB um, mode or color, and I'm going to have a white background. You can also uh, pick another background color, but I'm going to use white this time. Press OK. OK, so now we're going to bring up the picture that we want to use in the text. I have a couple of uh, pictures uh, selected here. I think I'm going to start um, with this one of a uh, lake, uh, Havasu Lake, actually, in um, Arizona. And then we have our picture. And I'm just going to go ahead and take off uh, the eye. Um, so that we don't see the picture right now. So it's just easier to work on this space. We're gonna pick uh, a text, and this is the text tool over here where the T is. And um, uh, I'm going to look through the text, um, and you definitely don't wanna pick anything like this that's very thin. You wanna pick like a chunkier uh, font with a lot of like black, uh, bold, or wide, I guess, space. And so I'm going to pick um, this one that's called uh, Cooper, maybe standard black. Uh, and we're going to start with that one. And uh, you can adjust the size of the font down here to whatever you like. I'm choosing 100 right now. And I'm going to use the word uh, Arizona. And position it there. So now in order to uh, get this uh, picture into the image, we want to go ahead and um, reveal it or, or unclick the eye here so that we can see it. And we want to make sure it's very important that the image is above the text. So this is a text layer and this is the image. And so you want to make sure your layer is selected and then you're going to go up to layer and then you're going to go down to where it says create clipping mask. A shortcut is also for a PC is um, alt control G and um, you're going to click that and then see it uh, went ahead and clipped it to the lettering. So now um, we can go ahead and size this. Um, one uh, very important thing in order to not distort your picture is to make sure that uh, constrained proportions is checked um, and that way it will keep your picture uh, from distorting as you uh, play here with uh, adjusting it in the in the letters and so you kind of just move it around here to where you think you want to see it um, and you just see what looks nice. I want to kind of see the little uh, palm trees here and um, you can just really size it and and uh, if you want like you know just use the skyline or just anything that you want but you can just move this uh, till you find the right look. I think that's the look I'm gonna go for. And so then you have to push the little check here so it'll confirm it. So now we're going to add layer styles. You're going to go up to layers, uh, layer styles, layer setting. The first thing we're going to do is a drop shadow. And I like to keep the drop shadow at about five. And uh, the distance, I like to keep it at about 25. Um, but you could set it at whatever you, you like for your design. Um, you can also go over here to the color palette here and change the drop um, shadow color, but I like to use black. And then I'm gonna go down to the opacity and I'm gonna make it um, about 75 or so is what I like. We're gonna do a glow and we're gonna do an inner glow. 
And the inner glow I like to keep at about uh, 27 or so, um, 30, somewhere along there. And again, the opacity, I like to keep it at about 75. I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, gradient background. And um, we're going to be uh, turning these two layers off and selecting our background. So I want to use um, uh, a yellow color. Actually, let me leave this up and you're going to select here this gradient and make sure that this is black and white right here and you can do that um, by pushing this little arrow but i want to um, select this um, first one here and then i also want to pick a color and so I'm going to go over to this yellow and just kind of see what color I think might look good for the background. And I'm going to pick this yellow here, turn off again these layers, and make sure your gradient, once again we're working here with the gradient tool, make sure that um, we have to come over here and unlock this background and we're going to click and drag this line down and so it just depends on how far you want this color to go so if i only want the color to go halfway i just um, draw the line halfway and then you only get the top uh, but i kind of like it to go pretty much down all the way down so I am going to um, select it and drag it down so it'll do most of it because um, I think I like that gradient best you could pick many different gradients here um, there's so many options but I'm gonna stick with this one right now